in the triangulation technique, the C arm is positioned over the patient in the vertical 90 degree position and the skin over the desired calyx is marked. This plane defines the medial extent of needle penetration for access to the desired calyx. The C arm is then rotated 30 degrees towards the surgeon for an end-on view of the posterior group of calluses. With the C-arm at 30 degrees, the skin side over the calyx is marked lateral to the first side. The surgeon uses this point on the skin surface to move in a vertical line inferiorly until a side 1 to 2 cm below the 12th rib is reached. This third site is marked and serves as the site of needle entry. From this point, the needle is advanced to the junction of the vertical plane and the 30 degree plane. Access is achieved at the junction of all three axes, hence the term triangulation. In clinical practice, in order to decrease radiation to the surgeon, the C arm is ankled away from the line of puncture with the image intensifier ankled towards the head of the patient. The C-arm is moved back and forth between two positions, one that is parallel and one that is oblique to the line of puncture. With the C-arm in the parallel position, adjustments are made in the medial lateral direction, right to left. With the C-arm in the oblique position, Adjustments are made in the cephalic caudal direction, up to down. It is crucial to only make adjustments in one direction at a time and to respect the different orientations as they pertain to the C-arm position. As soon as the proper orientation is obtained, the needle is advanced towards the targeted calyx with the C-arm in the oblique position. Before the renal capsule is penetrated, the position of the needle is checked with the C-arm in the parallel position. After proper positioning is confirmed, the needle is advanced into the renal collecting system with the C-arm back into the oblique position. Once the target calyx has been identified with the aspiration of urine, the next step is to introduce a glide wire via the needle into the renal collecting system.